Carl Icahn Fast Facts Here's a look at the life of investor Carl Icahn. Personal birth date. February 16, 1936 Birthplace. Brooklyn, New York birth name. Carl Zillian Icahn father. Michael Icahn, cantor and teacher mother. Bella, Schnall, Icahn, teacher marriages. Gail Golden, 1999 present, Libba Tregebel, 1979-1999, divorced, children. With Libba Tregebel. Michelle and Brett Education. Princeton University, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, 1957, attended New York University Medical School, 1957-1960 military service. U.S. Army Other Facts did a brief stint in the Army after dropping out of medical school. Was close to his uncle M. Elliot Schnall, who loaned him $400,000 to buy a seat on the New York Stock Exchange. Has been sued and investigated numerous times for issues ranging from corporate debt payment to possible federal securities violations. Has been referred to as a corporate traitor amid accusations of utilizing a strategy known as Greenmail. Forcing targeted companies to repurchase their own shares at higher premium prices. Oliver Stone met with Icon while working on the 1987 film Wall Street. Icon supplied character Gordon Jekko's line, If you need a friend, get a dog. Has held positions in numerous corporations, including RJR Nabisco, Texaco, Philips Petroleum, Western Union, Gulf and Western, Viacom, American Can, USX, Marvel, B Systems and Time Warner. Funds Foundation for a Greater Opportunity, which developed the Icon Charter Schools in New York City. Icon Stadium on Randall's Island in New York is named after him. Timeline 1961 joins Dreyfus and Company as a broker. 1963 joins Tessel, Patrick and Company as an options manager. 1964 to 1968 runs the options department at Gruntel and Company. 1968, with help from his uncle, starts Icon and Company, serves as chairman and president. 1978 As the largest shareholder of Tappan stock, Icon precipitates a proxy fight. Tappan is later sold to Electrolux, and stock prices double. 1979 Becomes chairman of the Bayswater Realty and Capital Corporation. 1985 Attempts an unsuccessful $8 billion buyout of Philips Petroleum. Icon earns a reported $50 million selling his shares back to Philips. 1985 Purchases Trans World Airlines, TWA. 1988 Icon, the largest shareholder in Texaco Incorporated, threatens a proxy fight to fill five seats on the company's board. He loses, but continues to purchase more stock in the company. 1988 Icon takes TWA private and controls 90% of the stock. He earns $469 million for the deal. The airline remains $540 million in debt. January 1989 After negotiations with Texaco, Icon signs a seven-year agreement to neither buy more stock nor make a takeover bid. His stake in shares is worth $2.2 billion. 1991 In a deal with American Airlines, Icon sells half of TWA's valuable London routes for $445 million. 1992 TWA declares bankruptcy. 1993 TWA emerges from bankruptcy. Creditors, including Icon, own 55% of TWA. He resigns as chairman of TWA, with the airline owing him $190 million. 1995 TWA and Icon settle on the Carabu ticket agreement, which states that for eight years, Icon can purchase any ticket through St. Louis for 55 cents on the dollar and resell at a discount. 2000 makes multiple bids for Nabisco Group. Philip Morris Company, the parent company of Kraft Foods, wins, but Icon still comes away with $600 million for himself and his investors. 2004 Icon begins raising $3 billion to start the hedge fund, Icon Partners. September 17, 2004 Icon discloses he holds an 8.9% stake in Mylan Laboratories, a pharmaceutical company which is in talks to buy rival King Pharmaceuticals. October 14, 2004, Icon files a proxy statement with the SEC, claiming Mylan's acquisition of King would be too expensive. October 28, 2004, King Pharmaceuticals announces it may have to restate its finances. November 11 to 26, 2004, after Blockbuster, Movie Gallery and a buyout firm, all make unsolicited bids to buy Hollywood Entertainment Corporation, Icon spends 2 weeks buying an 8.4% stake in Hollywood Entertainment. 
November 19, 2004, ICON makes a public bid for full ownership of Mylan Laboratories for $4.9 billion, for a total of $5.4 billion, to keep it separate from King Pharmaceuticals. December 2004 ICON says he supports a merger between Blockbuster and rival Hollywood Entertainment. February 27, 2005 The deal between Mylan and King is officially off. 2005 buys 10 million shares of Blockbuster, becomes the largest shareholder with a 9.7% stake, and launches a proxy fight. July 2005, Icon drops his bid to buy Mylan Laboratories and is expected to sell back 94% of his shares, making about a 14% profit. October 2005 Icon sends a letter to Time Warner shareholders, pushing for new directors and stressing that the stock is undervalued. February 7, 2006, Icon announces his desired plan for Time Warner. Split up into four different companies and a $20 billion share buyback. February 17, 2006 After a six-month proxy fight, Time Warner and Icon reach an agreement. Time Warner increases its share buyback amount to $20 billion, agrees to appoint two independent directors to the board, and the company remains intact. March 2010 Icon sells a majority of his shares in Blockbuster for a loss of $180 million. March 2011 announces he will return outside investors' money from his hedge funds. October 2012 Icon's funds have acquired about a 10% stake in Netflix. August 13, 2013 Icon announces he has a large stake in Apple and that the company is extremely undervalued. October 2013 Icon sells more than half his stake in Netflix, gaining more than $800 million, while still holding a 4.5% stake. October 23, 2013, Icon sends a letter to Apple CEO Tim Cook, proposing Apple conduct a $150 billion share buyback. February 10, 2014 In an open letter to Apple shareholders, Icon drops his campaign for pushing the company toward a higher buyback plan. October 9, 2014 Icon, in an open letter to Tim Cook, states that Apple stock is undervalued and once again pushes the CEO to increase its stock buybacks. Icon owns about 53 million shares. May 18, 2015, although Apple has already announced plans to increase its share repurchase plan from $90 billion to $140 billion, Icon releases an open letter to Tim Cook, calling for a much larger buyback. December 21, 2016 President-elect Donald Trump's transition office announces that ICON has agreed to serve as a special advisor on regulatory reform. February 7, 2017 states he won't invest the $100 to $200 million needed to reopen the shuttered Taj Mahal casino, but will sell it instead. ICON closed the casino in 2016 after failing to reach a labor agreement with its union employees. August 18, 2017 announces he has stepped down as a special advisor to President Trump. November 3, 2017 In a company filing, Icon Enterprises says it is cooperating with a request from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, which is seeking information relating to Icon's role as an advisor to President Trump. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.